right, we are live. 17th Street Graffiti Bridge Boat Launch with my man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Uh, John Steers, old time fisherman. John Steers, the old time fisherman. Yes, sir, absolutely. Man, dude, what'd you think of today's trip? Well, I'm going to make a commentary more than talk about the trip, if you don't mind, Josh. Hey. I'm going to start out saying there's a lot of misinformation out there about fishing and what have you. And, uh, it's guys like Josh and his colleagues that go out there with no pre preconceived notions. They try things that maybe don't make sense. They figure out things that work and they share it. <clears throat> For all you guys watching and, and reading his comments, re listen carefully, read carefully, and best yet, if you can, hire him and get in the boat with him. I had a lot of fun today. It's always a pleasure to be in the boat with somebody who shares the the uh, passion for the fishing and the interest in trying different things, developing new things, finding new areas. It was just a joy to be with you. Thank you, Josh. Absolutely. That was the best. I, I, I almost shed a tear. <laughs> Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Well, you're John, you're you are awesome guys it. to fish with. I appreciate everything you just said. I really do. That's awesome, man. You deserve it. and. Uh, Good luck in the future in your guiding business, and I know you'll do well at it. Yeah, guys, I, I do try. Um, one thing, you know, what you think about that whole cranking deal today? Well, that's definitely not what the book says is supposed to work. You know, uh, trout aren't supposed to like fat-bodied lures. I'm not totally surprised about the redfish liking it. Uh, definitely a innovative approach. Uh, clearly works. Uh, my kudos for you for developing it so well you know there's other guys that do it but it's one of those things like you said it's just not something that you see all the time and um you know there's a time and place for every lure you know and there's some times where you know depending if it's a shallow diver a medium diver a deep diver a surface crank you know all those things can be implemented and i'm learning that uh well it should be in the books for speckled trout and redfish yeah. it really should be yeah i agree i agree very effective it is no question about it, it very is and, uh, uh, again not what the book says is supposed to work but again people who uh you know take the written knowledge and go out with it but they don't take it totally to heart they do their own variations of of the techniques and uh, improve it you know innovate so Awesome day, thank you. Absolutely. Guys, we caught probably 50 or so trout, if you count all of them, including the small throwbacks, and uh, two bull reds, and you know, a couple other redfish, uh, a couple other redfish blow ups as well. Um, what's really, I want to kind of bounce back with, you know, what's in the books. You know, if you look at title charts or uh, like fishing apps and stuff like that, I look at everything. And it says today there was supposed to be no fish activity. Uh, well, there was definitely some fish activity today. Now, I'm not going to say it's wide open. you got to look for it. But when you find it, like our last spot, it's every cast you're catching a trout. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you might hook a big trout. Or today, there was a bull red there. I mean, you don't ever really know. So, you know, just get out and fish as much as you can and as always check me out at www.limitoutcharters.com john thank you very much you're sir. welcome bud all right guys take care <laughs>